Hello and welcome to 12th JMeter training video tutorial. In this section we would have a look at transaction controller which is a very important controller when we want to measure the time of transactions, different transactions which may comprise different samplers. And we would also have a look at modes of operations of transaction controller. Now what is transaction controller? Transaction controller as its, as its name indicates is a controller which generates an additional sampler which is known as transaction controller sampler which measure, measures the overall time taken by the nested test elements. Now how can we add transaction controller? So I have our old market to our test plan here wherein I have added a transaction controller. This is pretty easy to add. You can right click on the thread group, add config element, uh, sorry logical controller and then you have transaction controller here. Since I have already added it, I wouldn't add it again. And now I have pushed all of our previous samplers under the transaction controller. So these are the child elements of transaction controller. Now let's see what we have in transaction controller. So transaction controller has name element, which is to name it, comments, if you want to add any comments. Then we have generate sampler and generate parent sampler checkbox and include duration of timer pre post processor in generated sample. Let's see these uh, elements in more detail. Now, if you select include duration of timer and pre post processor checkbox, then what it means is that if you have any timer in your test plan, then these timers or times of these timers would also be included in the transaction controller sampler. Since we have a constant timer here of 2000 milliseconds or two seconds, then if we select the controller value here, then this time would also be included in the test results. We would have a look at this later. And then let's see what is generate parent sampler. Now if you select generate parent sampler, then in this case, a parent sample is generated, which would be named as transaction sampler coming from transaction controller. And this would be an outcome of all of the results of your nested test elements. If you if we do not select this value, then we would have another sampler generated, which would be a transaction controller sampler, along with the samplers for the welcome page, registration page and create account page. This may sound a little confusing, but when we see it in practice, this would be pretty clear. All right. So what happens to the test results here? Since transaction controller is available, at the top level of all of the test elements, all of the samplers, then all of the samplers should succeed for transaction controller to be successful. If not the case, then transaction controller would also fail. Uh, let's see all of these uh, use cases in practice. So first of all, we have no generate parent sampler selected and we have also not selected include duration of time or checkbox. Uh, I have added a listener here view results entry, which you can add very easily by selecting add listener uh, view results in tree, which is available somewhere down. Yeah, tree and view results in table. I have added these two listeners. So let's execute our test first and see what happens. So I'll hit control R to execute the test. So test run has begun. First sample is welcome page, registration page create account page and then we have a sampler called transaction controller. So this is a sampler which is this is a sampler value which is generated here because all of our samplers are within transaction controller. Now if you see the transaction controller has sample time which is almost the summation of welcome page, registration page and create account page. So this was first run. In second run, again, you have welcome, registration, create account page, and then you have transaction controller, whose time is almost the summation of welcome page, registration page, and create account page. Now, I say the time is almost summation of uh, the nested or the children samplers, because this time could be slightly high depending on the clock resolution. The clock might tick after the controller recorded the start time, but before the first sampler starts. And this is true uh, during the end of your test run as well. So this is when we have not selected the checkbox for generating parent sampler. And we had also not selected to include duration of timer and other elements. Now let's select include duration of timer and see what happens. So we have a timer here, constant timer. 
which is two seconds. These are our last results. Let's clear this and let's run the test again. Now, since our constant timer is at the thread group level, it means the two second delay is added to all of these requests. So it would be about six seconds delay. Let's run the request and see what happens. So I'm running the test again. So welcome page, sample time is 582 milliseconds, registration page 434 and create account page 807. But if you see the transaction controller here, the time is pretty high this time. It is close to 8 seconds. The reason being the remaining 6 seconds time comes from the constant timer, which is applicable to all of the samplers, which are welcome page, registration page, create account page. So the transaction controller time is the time for all of these samplers plus 6 seconds, which is why this is pretty higher this time. All right, let's clear the results again and see what happens if we select another value in transaction controller, which is the checkbox generate parent sample. Let's select this. I save the test plan and I would run the test again and see what happens. So I started the execution and now it seems it, it's taking some time and have a look at here. The only level which we have seen, which we see this time is transaction controller. There's no other level. The second level is again transaction controller. There's no other label. And this is happening because we selected the checkbox called generate parent sample. So in this case, we can only see the parent samples. We cannot see the nested child elements in view results in table listener, but there is a way to see the child elements. These elements can still be viewed in view results in tree listener. In this format, in this listener, the transaction controller has all of the embodied child elements available. So if you have to analyze uh, any failure, for example, if any child elements had failed and transaction controller had also failed subsequently, then you can do that in view results in tree listener. Now I had uh, said earlier that if any of the request fails, then transaction controller would fail. So let's try to simulate this as well. So I have a response assertion in welcome page. Let's try to complicate it and make it fail. So let's write some words here, which we know are not there, say Berlin or mm, USA or Brazil. And I know that these words are not there on the page. So we would expect test to fail. Let's get back to the view results in table. Let's clear the results using control E and let's run the test again and see what happens. So test is running. Only parent sampler would be generated, which is transaction controller. And if you see status is failed here, again failed and we know this is happening because we are emulating the error but having just having a look at view results in table we cannot figure out what's going on so we go back to view results entry and see what's happening here so here transaction controller is marked as failed this is because welcome page has failed and why it has failed because of the response assertion and we know that words like berlin usa and brazil are not there in the welcome page so this is an example of how transaction controller fails when any of the sampler available within transaction controller fails. So this was all about how we can use transaction controller and have a uh, timing of entire transaction or an end-to-end -end scenario being available from JMeter. Uh, that's all for this session. If you enjoyed watching this session, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you next time in next session. Keep learning. Bye-bye.